So I have one question for you. Do you keep your iPhone software up to date? If not, is it because it's just too much trouble to figure out how to do it or maybe you're worried something will go wrong? Well, in today's short but helpful video, I'm gonna show you how to update the software on your iPhone. Hi, my name is Rich. I'm so glad you found this channel. I post easy to follow videos on how to use your iPhone and iPad without going crazy. And this channel has a pretty good catalog of videos on how to get the most out of your Apple devices. So check out the links in the description below. And if this sounds like something you're interested in, please consider subscribing. Okay, keeping your iPhone software up to date is so important. Apple is always pushing out security features you need in this messed up world of thieves. And annually, usually in September, Apple provides a whole new update that enhances many of the iPhone's best features. And this year is no exception. So today, I'm just gonna show you two things, how to turn on auto updates and how to manually update your iPhone. All right, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I wanna show you is just how to turn on auto updates. So the first thing you do is you go into settings and you go to general and then you go to software update right there and you tap on that and here you can see I have automatic updates turned on but you can turn that off or on as you please and you can actually download it without installing it so if you want to just download it and then you install it when you want to install it you can turn off install iOS updates. Otherwise, it'll download it and install it for you and you don't have to really worry about anything. It just takes care of it. But here's the thing. So Apple releases software updates and they don't automatically update your phone the day the update comes out. Craig Federighi, who works at Apple and takes care of their software, said that people who want to manually download it, we typically allow that to happen during the first few days. And then after that, assuming nothing's gone wrong, we push out auto updates. So if you have it turned on, you may have to wait a few days in order to get the update. But you know, how hard is that? And it's no big deal either. All right, that's how you auto update your iPhone. Set it and forget it. All right, what if you wanna manually update your iPhone? Well, that's what we're gonna to do today. So I have auto updates turned on, so my iPhone hasn't updated yet. It'll automatically update in a few days, but I'm gonna show you how to manually update your phone. So if we go back to software update, you'll see that I have an update for iOS 15.7 here and I can download and install that. But there's also a very brand new upgrade to iOS 16, and that's what I wanna do. So sometimes you have a couple of choices. Here, iOS 16 will include every update for iOS 15 and previous iterations of the software. So you just simply tap on upgrade to iOS 16, and then you click on download and install. And here you've got to enter your code. And then the terms and conditions of the software pop up and you click on agree. And you agree. All right, that was it. It finished installing the latest version. I now have iOS 16 on my phone. And that's how you manually install an iPhone update. Honestly, even if you're new to the iPhone, you have to admit that wasn't that hard. And if you turned on auto updates and don't mind waiting for Apple to push the install, then there's really not much you have to do at all. But if you're someone who likes to keep things up to date, now you know how to do it manually. All right, that's it for today. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I hope you keep your iPhone software up to date. As always, Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.